continue. So what we're going to have a look at here is um, some candle formations that are widely known in the market. So you don't really need to worry too much about remembering all of these. I'm just going to run through some of these. But you can see basically what you want to think about the psychology of these and why they're bullish or bearish. So all of these are going to be bullish candle formations here. And then we'll look at the bearish ones. So you can see here this one um, is a two bar candle formation in other words where the second bar completely engulfs the body of the first bar it's called a bullish engulfing so if it opens below the body here and closes above the body here it's called a bullish engulfing and that's there where you expect all of this to, you know to continue higher a piercing line is not as bullish but again it's where basically the bears have control the bears are looking to push it lower but eventually even though we've opened that down here the market basically takes a turn for the upside and the bulls take control this one a harami pattern okay so again uh, i'm not really too keen on this one don't really use it so i wouldn't worry too much about it uh, the hammer pattern is a nice rejection candle this one is okay these ones are good um, again this one I don't use a lot I wouldn't class that as one of my key ones this one is a good one be careful that you're not sort of getting in too far up because this bar could be high so just make a note of the bullish engulfing to be good the hammer is good the doji is good so these are great for reversals this is more of a neutral bar but it can it illustrates market turns so if you find any of these bars at support look to buy okay in the direction of the trend the morning start is probably my favorite setup this one is going to get two ticks love this setup so think about the psychology bears have control push the market lower indecision in other words a fight between bulls and bears nobody really wins but then the bears take control so it's almost like you can see it uh, without seeing it but the 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 ball's basically taking that control and ownership of the market okay so really completely switching hands and then the market normally rallies off the back of that these are also very very powerful tweezer bottoms and probably my second favorite okay so i'm going to give this one two ticks as well don't see these that often but when you do they're normally very good for the market pushing high overall i would definitely use these two uh like the doji and the hammer and then the bullish engulfing as well same thing but opposite is for bearish uh, bearish candle formations as well okay so here's your bearish engulfing you can see again it's just the opposite small bar then it's engulfed but the body's engulfed by this uh, bigger bar and the most important thing is that it's a bearish engulfing because it closes uh, below this uh, body shooting star again nice on a trend support uh, and trend resistance okay or horizontal resistance point so make that sure you write that down this one again wouldn't really worry about it uh, the dark cloud cover is the opposite of a piercing line in other words the boards uh, had control looked like they were pushing it higher but eventually that kind of just completely shifted and the bears now have control this is not a bad pattern normally just results in the market falling lower so it's not a bad one to look at uh, the doji i like again at resistance and this one is probably my favorite it's very similar to the morning start obviously the opposite so the balls have control there's a fight a bit of an indecision bar here not much in it between balls and bears but eventually the bears take control and finally the tweezer tops okay so very equal length roughly uh highs and you have these sort of small bodies right at the bottom sort of concentrated uh at the sort of lower quartile of the uh candle formation again this is a great bearish uh formation okay and that completes uh this section on candles the next thing we're going to look at is support resistance this is a great area to sort of look at where the market turns okay so let's look at support and resistance and this is actually used to pinpoint market turns in the market okay so let's show you how to do this so the markets work like this there is a battle between bulls and bears and if you have a look at the image that's how you want to visualize it okay this is always a battle going on between bulls and bears 
So you want to think of trading as a game between bulls and bears. The bulls are trying to push the market higher and the bears are trying to push the market lower. So just imagine visually there is this fight going on between these two. They're trying to go up, bears are trying to go down. Our objective is to identify who is winning and to join them. When the market is basically clear and the bulls or the bears are winning, that's when you want to join and actually start trading because that's when the markets are going to move swiftly and quickly because once the bulls take control or the bears take control the markets will then have no conflicting sort of movements okay and it will be nice clean setups and that's what we're talking about when we sometimes say you know wait for the opportunities to be clear and actually then execute your trades because once you know which way the market's going it's then very very easy to put a strategy together to trade it for example as we saw before when the market was trending up with our c to d strategy it was very very simple to execute those trades sometimes there's a stalemate and you need to wait patiently until you know there's a clear winner before taking a trade so sometimes the market will basically do this okay and it will just go sideways now there are people out there that trade this it's called range trading and you can okay and if the range is big enough you can certainly sort of look to sell up here and buy down here and sell up here and buy down here until there's a breakout and if you want to implement a range strategy you know we do cover that in the applied course as well you know alternatively you can just sit out and wait for the market to be really really clear so here's what it looks like when the market is trending the market is generally trending higher it's called a bull trend when the market is making higher highs and higher lows in other words these lows are increasing you can see the market is making higher lows and these highs are getting higher and normally what you can do is you can normally draw a support line like that so the first instance normally when a market is going to change direction is when a trend line breaks so for example here what you'd be very very careful of is this market now going to start to sort of trend down well officially it's still in an uptrend until this is broken because sometimes what happens is the market isn't breaking lower but it's just slowing down and it might just continue but just slows down that's why it's it's just basically going at a slower rate so just because it breaks the trend line doesn't mean it's going to reverse it just is a warning signal that the market is slowing so it's very important to understand when the market is fast because that's when you can be more aggressive and when the market's slow that's when you can be a little bit more conservative with your stop and your target bear trend again very similar but in this time we're looking at lower highs and lower lows so here are the lows these are the low points and again lower highs all of these so it goes from here lower high lower high lower high lower high and if you have a look here this is a first instance of a potential reversal when the market makes a higher low then it takes this out and that's pro that's basically the end of that bear trend where we make a higher high and a higher low and that's officially now the end and you're looking for the market to reverse and go higher finally as we said earlier the market can also go sideways where it's basically bouncing between resistance and support resistance support and support here as well resistance and these are basically ceiling Okay, this is a, you can look at this as a ceiling and here as a floor once either side is broken okay that's when you know either the bulls are winning or the bears are winning so in this scenario here where the market breaks through resistance this old resistance becomes support and what we know is that the bulls are in control and we must be looking to buy the market okay so any pullbacks you can now start to trade your c to d strategy so it looks something like here here's your a here's your b you're looking for your c taking it up to your d okay and that's where we use the fibonacci tool that we will uh, go into um, a bit later <laughs>